everyone. Let me pop you up. I feel a bit disheveled. I've literally got the train this morning, rushed through Euston and got straight in a cab and just arrived. And I feel like I'm a bit sweaty. But I have just arrived at what could quite possibly be my favourite or like top three hotels slash hotel rooms. The decor is so my vibe to a T. So yeah, book to stay at the Nomad this evening as I am down for the LTK Gala, which I think is their first ever like big event. So LTK for those um, who don't know is the affiliate platform that a lot of us content creators, influencers use, um, whereby we make a small commission when we link certain things um, if the brand is on the LTK platform. So normally when, if you see we put AF, affiliate link, um, there obviously are some other platforms, but LTK is the one that I use. Let's do a quick room tour. So as soon as you walk through the door, you've got a little area here. And then this is the bedroom. This for me is, oh my God, I love a large standing piece of artwork. It's just absolute heaven. Um, I love the mishmash of the prints, the dark wardrobe, honestly, just absolutely sensational. And then you've got a little coffee station. My hair is so all over the place, I think it's because I have my headphones on. Little vanity area here, which is where I think I'll get ready. My best friend is actually coming to Glam Me. Um, she's a professional makeup artist in the TV and film industry. I might do a little chit chat with her and explain to you all about what she does. Um, yeah, she's my best friend from uni and, and she always says that she wants to glam me. Um, and I thought this would be the perfect time to ask her to help me to get ready. So she's gonna be here in about half an hour. Honestly, if you were to say, what does your dream bathroom look like? It was this. Can I honestly walked in? I was like, look at the shower. Oh, oh my god, just absolutely gorgeous. I love the tiling. They've really just absolutely nailed the decor. I will say, it is no full-length mirror. And if you follow me on Instagram, that is my pet peeve about hotels. Is why is there never a decent full length mirror? But there's so many other amazing things going on that I'm gonna let them off. Oh, actually, it might be in the wardrobe. Is it? Okay. It's thin, but it's allowed. It's allowed. I'll let them have that. There. Can you see me? I'm not sure how well you can see me, but quick outfit of the day. Just a very comfy travel outfit. So I've just got on my Ruin Rocker tracksuit, which I honestly worn to death. This is an M. I sized, I sized up to an M in both the joggers and the hoodie. I've just got on a Henny tank and then just my oversized Frankie shop trench coat and then bag wise i haven't got this out in a while but i've just got my tory birch gray monogrammed tote bag which is such a good size if you're looking for a good tote bag um this is such a good size um and it's very sort of goyard-esque but much cheaper and they do lots of different colors as well and then footwear i've just got on my new bad bunny adidas campus club trainers which i am so happy i managed to get my hands on let me show you properly um i'm so happy i managed to get my hands on them they obviously sold out when they first got released and then i've just been on the hunt for them just on vintage and stuff and then i found them a girl who'd worn them a couple of times was selling them on vintage so plan of action it's currently 10 past three steady is coming at half past three to 
set up and start the glam process. I want to have a shower. I did fake tan last night. I thought this morning I'd done a terrible job, but actually, looking at it, um, it's not too bad. So I do Tan Lux water spray on my face, and then I use the Bondi Sands, I think it was, the Ultra Dark Mousse, on my body. And I think I haven't done too bad a job, to be honest. So yeah, plan of action. Said he's coming at half three, so I've got 20 minutes. So I might have a shower, I might unpack, I'll unpack with you guys, have a shower, and then I should sort of be ready to go by the time she gets here, really. Um, oh, I need to ask for a steamer for my dress. I've only got one option with me, is that quite risky? Um, so hopefully there's no zip breakage <laughs> or anything happens, otherwise I haven't got a backup. So let me have a look at the Itinerary. It is very <laughs> quite warm in here. I'm going to have to put the aircon on. It's really quite hot. Right, what am I doing? Doo -doo -doo. LTK Gala. Okay, so it's the Natural History Museum, which sounds incredible. So red carpet arrival, 8, 8, <laughs> 6.45 to 7.15. Okay, um, 7.15 eight is welcome reception brand showrooms live shopping fashion show closing talks oh it's more of like a it's like lots going on it's not really just the ball there's your live shopping a fashion show and closing talks and then the ball party ball party <laughs> i can't even speak um the gala ball party time half 10 till 2 a.m. Don't think your girl will be lasting that long. Especially, I actually woke up this morning. I always know when my headaches are about to hit. I am due on, so it's always like <laughs> danger time. Um, and I woke up this morning, which I never really do at like 4 a.m. And it's quite weird. I don't know if anyone else gets this. When I think a headache's about to come on or my migraines recently, I get this like weird taste in my mouth. I woke up at like 4 a.m. which I thought was just for a wee because I've literally been drinking like three liters of water a day. I am hammering the Stanleys and then I could feel my head going a bit and I was like oh please no like I could feel my head it was a bit dull and I was like oh my god of all days I was so excited to come like paid for this amazing hotel I want to make the most of the content see everyone tonight I was like please don't arrive today this will literally be the worst if you're gonna come you're allowed to come on the weekend when I'm back home but you're not allowed to give me a headache today and tomorrow. And then when I woke up, I was a bit like, oh, I don't feel great. It wasn't like the worst it's ever been, but you know, when you can just like feel it coming. So I literally on the train, I didn't feel great either, but I have had loads of water, took some painkillers and I'm feeling better. To be honest, I think just arriving at the hotel and walking into this room is my cure. <laughs> I feel instantly better just being around amazing interiors. So maybe that's my pain relief. I just need to be constantly surrounded <laughs> by beautiful things. My point was, referring back to that, finishing at 2 a.m. I, I mean, I'm not a big drinker anyway, if you know me. I will just have like a few and then I just know when I'm done. And I think because of my head at the minute, I just can't really drink more than probably one or two. And I just don't really want to have a repeat of what I was sort of suffering with a few weeks ago. So um, yeah, don't think I'll be staying out until 2 a.m. Um, I also want to make the most of being in this gorgeous hotel. I want to like film and shoot some stuff um, in the morning. So yeah, I want to have a couple, see everyone, can't wait to see everyone's outfits. I'm excited to get back in this gorgeous bed with a cup of tea and put my face mask on. Right, first and foremost, we need to work out this because it is 800 degrees in here. Um, oh. Oh, yeah. Is that gonna work? Let's see. Oh, righty. Oh, my lips are also so dry. It's just the classic Laneige sleeping mask, which I use when I'm awake as well. And this is, I think it's the watermelon one. They are so good. Oh. Oh. The guy was like, how long are you stay? 
thinking, I was like, mm, one night? <laughs> My bag's so heavy. I just brought a few extra bits that I just wanted to um, potentially have the option to shoot. So, um, so this is what we're working with. This is gonna be a steamer. Yes! I love when hotels think about the necessities. I don't want an iron, I don't want to be faffing around with an iron, but a steamery steamer, big, big check. And there's these straighteners. <gasps> love that. So, we've got LED face mask. <laughs> Very important. I will probably do this when I get in. And then all my toiletries and makeup and hair stuff. Now I'll go through what I'm wearing tonight properly in a little bit. Got my trainers because I'm going to gym in the morning. What else have we got? Accessories. My dress, which definitely needs a steam. Maybe even a bit of a lint roll, if I'm being completely honest. I am such an unpacker. Even if I'm away for a night, I have to unpack. I hate living out of a suitcase. And every time I'm in London at the minute and I stay with my boyfriend, I just feel like I'm just living out of my suitcase because there's not a huge amount of <laughs> hanging space for the amount of stuff that I bring down with me. Gorgeous little H&M cord. I'm gonna try and shoot tomorrow. PJs, joggers, another outfit that I'm gonna try and shoot tomorrow. This source of known blazer is just one of my absolute faves. Oversized, amazing structure, love it. My Anine Bing split leggings. My cost per wear for these. Honestly, just such a wardrobe staple for me. I actually didn't bring that much, but I don't know why it felt so heavy. I think because I brought more products than normal. I feel like I maybe should have brought more. Oh. Hello? Yes, amazing. Yes. Thank you. She's coming. Friends. Oh, oh my God. darling. How are you? You smell delightful. Do you like? You smell like a baby. I smell like a like train. No, you're yeah. all right. I'm oh, cute. So cute. You bring me a little work bag. Aww. How are you been, girls? Oh, I've missed you. I've missed you. Okay, yeah. How's that? Is that just you? No, it's just me. Is that what you're wearing? Oh, yeah. I'm not outrageous. I mean, I've looked look better. <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? I think this is a look. This is a red carpet look. <laughs> Yes, and a, and a situation. And then like a nudie. So how about we do like a nudie? I think. And we can do a bit of maybe the Dior lip oil. Have you tried that before? Are you a gloss or a matte kind of person? I do like a gloss, but as long as it's got a bit of like a Side nudie line. pinky colour. Okay. Um, that is the one that I could potentially That's... experiment with. <laughs> okay. That's darker. This is my go-to. Okay. That's awful. What yeah. Is this? I um, mean, it, the colour's great. I'm just saying that the... The, the it's, state. it's been used to death. Don't even dare look at my makeup. No. <laughs> She's judging me. We're not 15 anymore. Oh, uh, either, 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 no, but no, it's NYX great. is great. NYX, uh, NYX, I don't know how you pronounce it, it's great. But I'm just saying. And then I just have. Uh, um, Charlotte Tilby Proud is just. <laughs> that's my. Okay, that's fine. Let's just do this. 
Because I know you're going to change I'm happy it. for you to, like... This is good. This is... I'm like her worst Yeah, customer. worst client. Customer client. Client. Very picky. I get I get scared. I know you do. It's okay. I'm happy for you to do what, also what you think. Let's go over there. I have too many things to focus on. What My... Are you doing? Let me put this on oh. first. What's happened? No, Adam's mum has just messaged me. And she's just said... Um... Hey you, Ad said you've been together for a year. I said I hope you're both very happy. Oh, sweet. That's really sweet. Oh, that we like Jones Road. Yes! Uh, yeah, I have to switch it up sometimes. I know. Remember? No. Go on. No. Remember at uni, you always used to tell me, go a dark lip colour. Yeah, just go darker. You've got good juicy lips. You want to, you know, highlight them. You can go darker. Don't be afraid. So gentle. Am I? Mm -hmm. I always feel like I'm being so rough. No. Okay, that's it. I was just saying that said so used to get so angry with me at uni. Yeah. Because I used to blink all the time. Yeah, she was terrible with her eyes. You used to get so cross with me. Yeah. I've got better now. No. Yeah. Before <laughs> I, before it was a profession, it used to really wind me up. Mm. But now it's just like I've. You're used to the blinkers. I'm used to the blinkers now. Who's your favourite makeup artist um, to follow? Pat McGrath, I'd mm. say. Um, she's my favourite to follow. I just love the stuff that she did at Paris Fashion Week. And um, who what she, who show did she do? This year? I can't remember what show it was, but did you see kind of like the when everyone was kind of like really really dewy? It was always like they yeah. looked like like plastic. Yeah, that was her. So she. I love it when they do something a bit a bit different. A bit right? different. Um, so she's great, and her product ranges are amazing. Like we were saying before, like if you don't know what brand to shop at or like mm. what product you want. I feel like Pat McGrath is always a self bet. Um, cause she's, everything's great. Mm. Charlotte Tilbury as well. Yeah. Great product range. Um, the quality is amazing. And it kind of works on every, like kind of every skin yeah. type I find. I don't think I've ever met someone who hasn't loved the Charlotte Tilbury products. No, they're great. They're amazing. You look like a doll. It's so silly. So ridiculous. Mm. All set. We will highlight mm. and then we'll add the lash. I'm a bit peckish. <laughs> so we rummaged in the drawer <laughs> and I've only got my favourite crisps. <laughs> I'm actually so excited. Have you tried these before? No, I haven't actually. <gasps> Sensational. So this is my gorgeous dress from. I got it from, from a friend, um, which is a new brand that I've discovered. Um, I absolutely love it. So makeup and hair is done. We've gone for something very different for me. Um, my front bits are annoyingly a bit too long, but just thought I would have my hair up for a change. And I think the dress suits hair up. We did try a high up do, but wasn't quite right. Um, it's taking me some getting used to because I don't normally have my hair up because I don't love my ears. Um, but we're embracing it. So now I just need to get in my dress. Now officially running very, very late. So this is going to be a very quick rundown of the outfit of the night. So this is the gorgeous dress from, from a friend. Um, and then I just paired it with my silver clutch from West 22. And I've just got all my trusty Bottegas as they're just so comfy. And then earrings are ASOS. Sorry, it's become much more rushed than I thought it would be. Um, and I'm already quite late. I'll try and take some more footage on my phone and get some more videos and stuff, hopefully when I'm there. Um, but yeah, see you later. All my boob tapes like come undone. Um, it's very booby for me actually as well. I am starving, so I'm gonna order room service and then I'll get ready for bed and catch up with you while I'm waiting for food. I've just found this on my pillow, but it's a breakfast menu, which I will have in the morning, but I don't want that right now. I want the room service. Oh no. I also have goodie bags that I need to go through with you as well. So maybe I'll do that when I get in bed. Um, but where is... No. Why do you 
Retriever magazine as well. Oh, here we go. Let me figure this out. I need to work out what I can actually order. Oh, late night snacks. Here we go. Oh my god. God, how long is this going to take me then? I only literally had one drink. Oh no, I'm all stuck. I'm all stuck. Ah. Oh. I feel like I've got three. Oh, one? Yes. That's going to be fun. <laughs> so, debrief. Um, it was so lovely to catch up with girls that I've either not properly met before um, or haven't seen in ages. So that was so lovely, but I just, just so many people. It was quite overwhelming. It was lovely to see lots of faces that I haven't seen in a while. Um, but I must say, I'm very happy to be back. It's quarter to 12. It's actually later than I thought I was gonna be, um, but I ended up chatting with some of the Sherlux girls at the end, which was so lovely. Um, I love them so much, they're such a great team. Classic me, I literally didn't vlog <laughs> a single thing in there. Oh, that's like, I think I've got a cute video of Georgia. <laughs> Getting that comfy bird. Anyone else's favorite part of the night? <laughs> Getting home and taking off their makeup. <laughs> because, it is mine. when I said this was a non-negotiable <laughs> in my daily routine um I couldn't be happier right now genuinely got room service on the way got my LED mask on and I'm gonna see if there's something good on the TV to watch should we see what there is what is the Brits I haven't actually watched any of that yet oh goggle box that's exactly the sort of thing I was after. I am so <laughs> excited for this. Goggle box is sadly finished, but we've got first dates on. Um, so I'm gonna eat this, finish getting ready for bed, and I will check in with you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is currently about ten past seven. I woke up about half past six, I think it was, which is very early for me. I can't wait to wash this hair. It's just like, you know, that thickening powder. Um, doesn't look that bad, like on the ends, but if I run my hands through it, it like gets, <laughs> like gets stuck. Now I'm gonna do something that's against my rules normally, but I'm gonna treat myself and one day, hopefully, won't cause me to break out in severe acne. <laughs> if you followed me for a while on my skin journey, you'll know that I, my rule is no coffee before um, breakfast. To be fair though, I don't really drink coffee that much anymore. I have, I either have matcha or tea. Um, so, but I kind of feel like a coffee because I think because I've not slept very well, <laughs> I would quite like a coffee. My hair is slightly more tame now. Um, I'm just gonna head down to the gym and do a quick half an hour session. Um, so I've just got on my Tala, I'm not sure which collection this is, I'll link everything below. Honestly, Tala tops in particular, like there's nothing better. Um, I've just got on my black Adenone leggings and then I've just got on my APL trainers which are so comfy. That was the most delicious shower 
I have had in a very long time. Oh my god, that was... I was literally going to stay in there for like five hours. So I washed my face when I was in the shower. I have gone back to the Zo Skin um, Gentle Cleanser. I used this years ago when I think when my skin started getting bad in like... I want to say like 2018 maybe? And then it was actually when I went to get my Botox on. He was chatting about my skincare and stuff in uh, the Zo Skin range. And obviously I'm on like a very gentle skincare routine. Um, and he did say like how amazing the um, Zo Skin Cleanser was. And I thought, oh my God, I did actually used to love it. So I've got the gentle cleanser um, and I've been using it for a few weeks now. And yeah, it's great. I really love it. And then I'm still going in with the Rose Water and Glycerin Hydrating Facial Mist from the Heritage Store, which I literally just got on Amazon. I think this is like my... My eighth bottle. I just go through it so quickly. These two especially are like my hydration duo. I just get both of these on Amazon. And then this is the Hardaloba Tokyo um, Hyaluronic Acid, which Ella says, um, I bang on about her all the time, but if anyone's new here. The skin queen who I did my skin um, transformation with, and she said this is the best hyaluronic acid. Um, market ah, I'm just so slippy and do you know what's so annoying I forgot my moisturizer um I'm actually ordering a new one which I'm gonna try and then just finishing with some SPF I had a bit of a breakout down here um a few weeks ago so it's just my marks that are left um so I'm hoping they're not as stubborn as my ones on my cheeks, which are slowly but surely going. I was joking the other day, I was like, it's almost like with my skin, all my breakouts are happening in different sections. So like, this time last year when my skin got really bad, it was my forehead, which is now totally clear and scar free. Then it went to my cheeks, and then now it's gone to my chin. So I'm hoping I'm through like the worst of it, and it's all just going through my body. Um, but yeah, we are not getting there. I had a very lovely start to the morning. I had a very, I woke up quite early, but then I had quite a slow, chilled morning um, in bed. And then went to the gym, did a quick upper body session, came back, had the most delicious shower. I've got a matcha en route with a croissant. <laughs> then I'm gonna get ready. Um, I've actually got an outfit that I wanna shoot, so we'll show you that. Look what's just arrived. Very excited for that. It's been a very terrible <laughs> vlogger today. Um, I've been so busy like shooting and doing some work that literally I was like, oh my God, I need to check out in like five minutes. I literally just packed my bags at the speed of light. Um, just gonna finish collecting my bits and then I'm gonna go meet my manager and have a quick meeting with her and then I get the train home. Obviously got my goodie bags. I need to go through with you guys, so maybe I'll do that when I get home. Okay, confession. It's four days later. <laughs> I got back on Friday, was absolutely shattered because I obviously weirdly woke up so early on Friday morning. Um, it took me so long to get home. The train was so slow. It was like an hour and a half. It wasn't delayed because we were on the train, but it was just going so slow because there was something in front that meant that it was just going so slowly. Um, so I didn't get home until much later than I thought. Then I got hit with that lovely cold that's going around. So didn't really do much over the weekend. So it's now Monday. I'm going to hopefully get this up this evening. I've edited most of the vlogs, so I just thought I would finally show you what was in here. And then I've also got a couple of the deliveries I thought I might as well show you as well. Also, what would mean the absolute world is if you could below, just give me some ideas of other videos that you would like. Um, as I said, I've got like a list of some ideas, but do you prefer more styling videos, more vlogs, um, any, of, any other suggestions? I do have an idea for one new series that is currently in progress, which if you are from um, my Instagram, you'll be 
familiar with a series I used to do on there called Weekly Faves, um, which I sort of stopped doing, but always loved. But it's just one of those things that, because there's just a million and one things on my content to-do list, sadly, um, it's sort of been left behind. But I think YouTube is the perfect place for the idea of the back of weekly faves um which will make more sense hopefully from next week um, but yeah any other ideas um it would mean the world if you could leave some ideas below or feedback or anything um youtube is so different i was actually talking about this in my management um in my catch up last week it's just so different to what i thought it would be i think you automatically think that all your instagram followers or all your followers from your other platforms will just follow you over, but it's just not the case. You have to really build an entirely new audience because a lot of people who are on those social media platforms don't watch YouTube um, or, you know, don't prefer long form videos or maybe, I don't know what it is. Um, so yeah, I'm sort of learning a lot as I'm going, which is actually really interesting. Before this video ends up being eight hours long, let's get into the LTK goodie bag so this was I did have a space in K bag so I think all the beauty products are from space in K and then most excitingly if you can see that paper we have a Stanley now they had an area at the LTK ball and who was I with I was with um, Leah and Vanessa and there was just this massive like statue of a Stanley and then loads of like black, I think it's this one. Oh no, I love this color though. Oh, the ones that they had there were the black, all black ones, which were really cool. Cause I only have the TikTok shop version. I've been a fraud for, um, God, a few months now. Um, but I've now got the real deal, which is very exciting. Um, so yeah, it was, there was loads of them on this table and I was like, is this a free take and go situation? She was like, no, no, you get them in your goodie bag. And I was like, great. So I think this might be the most exciting thing in here. Very excited to have the official Stanley because I literally, I'm actually staring at mine over there, which I'm going to get because I'm so thirsty. This is my TikTok shop one, which I mean, when you think about it. I'm sure this is much, much better um, for obviously like a quarter of the price, whatever it is. This has done me very well. Beauty wise then, I can already see there's some very, very good bits. We already know my love for the Skin Nova. I use this most days. If you love a, glu a gluey, <laughs> if you love a glowy, dewy base, this. Um, we have the Color Out Money Mask, which I already have this and do really really like it i don't think it's my number one i think my number one is still the christoph robin um oh which one is it some of the red lid christoph robin just nips it slightly in first place um but i do love the color of our product and this is a good mask um what else have we got i love this brand the sam mcknight um hair care range I love their texturizing hairspray, their smoothing balm. What else do I use? They have also sent me a shampoo and conditioner, but I've not actually tried it yet. Um, I think it might even be in this range, but these are two minis, which I love having a good stash of minis on hand for when I'm traveling and stuff. So that'll be a good one to take to South Africa, actually. Or I know a little girl who would be very happy if I gave this to her. Let's give her a FaceTime. <laughs> Anti-climax. <laughs> She's still at school. No, it's half six there. Right, I'll have to ring her later. But she is 10. And if you are seeing the TikTok generation alpha, or well, the gen alpha, um, who are like 10 year olds have like the whole stock of Sephora in their bathroom. She is one of them and her collection of Sol de Janeiro is actually quite impressive. Um, so I said the next time I got one, I would give it to her. Um, 
so she'll be very happy with that right next up we have the olaplex bonding oil um i've not tried that all before i always hear mixed reviews about olaplex also actually i recently received their latest dry shampoo in i don't know where it is in pr um it's shit <laughs> if i'm being totally honest did not do anything literally was spraying loads and loads and loads and don't really feel like it did much if i'm being totally honest living proof for me is still absolute number one um you literally can't get any better than living proof i was quite disappointed with the dry shampoo it literally felt like it did nothing it was still didn't absorb any grease or anything so yeah that was a bit disappointing um but i would give their oil a go oh, what is this oh that looks scary niacinamide serum top percent plus zinc two percent um i think judging off my current skincare routine um i guess that's a no for me sadly um but i'm sure mill or someone will be very happy <laughs> to try positive light illumina liquid oh positive light liquid illuminizer outshine a silky second skin liquid highlighter that Oh, Rare Beauty. I've actually not tried anything from Rare Beauty yet. Sorry. That packaging is stunning. What a wonderful experience. <laughs> oh my god, I can just tell that that is going to be... I mean, that in the summer... Oh, let me touch my hands. It will be absolutely gorge. Oh, I love their stuff. Ultraviolet. And this is their lip balm, which I don't have. I love the um, the Beauty Pie SPF lip balm, um, which I think has actually just run out. So this is perfect timing for, oh, it's pink as well, for South Africa. Oh, it's minty. That's really nice. That last couple of bits, Cosas. Cosas? Cosas? I don't think I've heard of these guys before. Hmm. But as Sally was telling me when she was doing my makeup, I need to experiment more. I, I'm such a creature of habit. I just don't really think to experiment with colour or lips or anything. I'm not sure about that. I think I might rehome um, to someone who will definitely wear it. <laughs> and finally, the Cordially Beauty Elixir. I've heard very, very good things about this. I think Sally used this on me, did she? Or is it the Elemis one? I actually can't remember. Hmm. I don't really know if it's done anything, but it feels very nice. Uh, right, last two things from my order that I did from, I think this was Look Fantastic I did. I saw on TikTok a girl doing a makeup tutorial and she was doing her eyes and she used this Giorgio Armani eye tint it's in the shade 22 and again i don't really experiment much with my eyes either i'm a bronzer eyeshadow kind of girl and i saw her use this on her eyes and it looked incredible and it was also so easy she literally like shoved it on like blended it and then she was done and i was like that is my vibe so it's just like a brown it just gave such a gorgeous bronzy eye finish so i'm very excited to try that out and the last thing that i got i actually mentioned um i ordered a new moisturizer um when i was doing my skin when i was doing my skincare routine i asked ella because i've been using the glow recipe i think it's a plum plump hyaluronic cream from glow recipe <laughs> it's a real mouthful she recommended that moisturizer to me a year ago and i love it but i go through it so quickly and it's quite expensive and you just get it says 50 mil but i just don't think it is because half the tub's glass it just becomes so expensive and it's just really annoying having to order it and wait for it all the time so when i went for my last micro needling i said to her is there another really good moisturizer that you recommend that's bigger in size or a bit cheaper um anything sort of along those lines and she recommended the Verst dew point moisturizing gel cream never used this brand before but if ella recommends it it's got to be good so 
um, I'm excited to introduce that into my routine and I will let you know how I get on. Right, that is everything. I definitely feel not disappointed with myself, <laughs> it's probably a bit extreme, but I was frustrated, I think, with the fact that I didn't show you as much as I wanted to when I was down in London, um, particularly of the gala itself. I think I said as well, when I'm in like social settings, I'm such an in the moment person, which is a good thing. It's it's good that I'm not always like on my camera or my phone, but I then just forget to document things. Um, and then I look back and I'm like, oh, I wish I just, just, I'd just done something because I'm aware that my vlogs are very much just me sort of in one place, you know? Yeah, apologies, I didn't show you maybe as much as I thought I would, um, but I still had an amazing time nonetheless um, and the hotel was just gorgeous. So I think my next video might be the new series that I'm starting or it will be more of a fashion focused vid. So let me know if there's anything in particular that you want me to style down below. If you want me to do a new in, pick a certain store, Shall I do a roundup? Shall I do something for spring workwear? Um, let me know below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing week and I'll see you guys next time.